Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this latest webinar briefing. We're going to talk about more significant rainfall and even some heavy snow that is expected with storm number one. Then we'll even look a little bit further into next weekend with another significant storm expected to impact Southern California. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. What are we looking at here? Well, basically uh, we have a series of storms, uh, one coming in tonight through Tuesday, another one Wednesday, Thursday. Snow levels much lower is the main theme with this storm and the main impact. The next storm looks like it'll be later in the weekend, probably Saturday night through Monday, and that has the potential for significant precipitation. There are some other impacts over the waters and also fog with the clouds across the mountains. And then don't forget the high winds that develop ahead of these frontal systems as well. But by far and large, it looks like snow is the main impact, especially this week. Across California, this was what it looks like over the next six days. You can see the Sierra Nevada and Southern California remain the target areas for the main and the most significant precipitation. On the right hand side is a zoomed up of Southern California. You can see in this particular storm series coming up, San Diego County and the San Bernardino Mountains appear to do the best with the most widespread significant precipitation. We'll look at some of the details. We do see some spillage into the deserts, especially the San Diego deserts. Here's what it looks like, latest precipitation forecast. There's a cold front that's gonna move through in the evening hours on Monday and bring widespread precipitation. It'll be heaviest across Orange County and then the San Bernardino Mountains. We'll see lesser amounts as you go further south towards San Diego because the front does weaken. Rainfall amounts up to three quarters of an inch across Orange County and locally in favored areas on the south facing slopes. Rainfall between one and two inches in the San Bernardino Mountains. Keep in mind a lot of that will be in the form of snow. We do see quite a bit of what we call shadowing, so the desert areas to the east do not receive nearly as much precipitation. In fact, most areas around a tenth of an inch or less. So this is mainly with the cold front coming through, and this will be out of here by early, by sunrise Tuesday morning. What's it look like for snowfall? Well, this is a strong cold front, so snow levels will drop rapidly. In fact, probably down as low as 3,000 to 3,500 feet at the very end of the precipitation front. So this means snowfall could occur even across the Cajon Pass. Now, most of our mountain towns will see several inches of snow. We do think the heaviest snowfall will be across the Wrightwood or the western San Bernardino and the San Gabriel Mountains, with a little bit of snow even making it down into the San Diego Mountains on the tail end of the front. Now what about the winds? Winds were mentioned earlier in the threat table. We do expect some high winds along and ahead of the cold front. The cold front will move through during the evening hours and overnight into Tuesday morning. So expect your highest winds across the San Bernardino Mountains. Notice those areas in yellow and even some orange with gusts up around 50 miles per hour with some of that spilling over into the high deserts. Elsewhere, let's just call it breezy to locally windy along the coast and valleys. What is the storm track causing this? Well, a big storm system in uh, the San Francisco area is pushing a cold front slowly towards our region as we record this. That system will split apart, so a piece of that entry will lift northward into south central California, and that's what makes the front stronger on the north end. Okay, so the frontal system weakens on the south end as it comes across San Diego. Notice that a portion of the storm system remains over the ocean to our west. That portion to our west moves across somewhere across San Diego or the northern Baja region. It'll lift up into the Imperial Valley and the Colorado River Valley. Looks like sometime Wednesday night and that will be the main storm system for Wednesday into Wednesday night as that system moves across San Diego County and then ejects northward into the deserts to our east. Now that leaves places like Orange County on the drier side. Now there's another system however that comes down from the north and that comes down on Thursday so it looks to be unsettled even after that storm moves through Wednesday 
evening. Another storm system cuts across our northern areas or the high deserts in San Bernardino Mountains on Thursday, keeping it unsettled with showers and cold air remaining in place for relatively low snow levels on Thursday. Here's what the precipitation forecast is calling for Wednesday, Thursday with those two combined storms. Remember, we do see a storm that comes up from the south in the northern Baja and into the desert. So San Diego looks to be most favored with that on Wednesday and Wednesday night. And now there's another storm that comes from the north on Thursday. So that'll be more in our northern mountain areas such as Big Bear Lake, San Bernardino areas. So you can see uh, widespread precipitation, but much heavier across San Diego area because of that storm on Wednesday and then northern areas with a storm on Thursday. Snowfall it will be cold enough for snow down to at least 4,000 feet sticking. So we do expect several inches of snow. Pick your favorite location, Mount Laguna, uh, up towards around six or eight inches of snow because of the heavier precipitation Wednesday. Same with Palomar Mountain, Idlewild area as that storm comes up Wednesday. Now remember there is another storm on Thursday, so our northern areas also get into that. And so snow will continue to Thursday, especially on northern mountains, and several inches are expected to accumulate in the ski areas with at least a couple inches in the town areas. So active weather on Wednesday and Thursday, despite a break on Tuesday. What's going on with the weather pattern? Will we see another storm? Well, it still looks like another storm is forecast to drop down from the northwest, same path, and move over the eastern Pacific and a little bit offshore before swinging across Southern California. It looks to be late this weekend, sometimes Saturday night and Sunday with the brunt of that storm coming in. It won't be as cold as our storm this week, but nonetheless, enough for snow in the higher terrain up around 6,000 feet and also enough for some significant widespread rainfall. Here are some of the details. Take time to look at this. We have a front moving through Monday evening and it'll be out of here early Tuesday. It's a cold system, so snow levels will drop quickly as it moves through. There'll be a narrow band of precipitation lasting about two or three hours with the heaviest rain about only one hour's time. That's when you'll see your higher rainfall rates of around 0.2 per hour. Now, the next storm system comes up from the south, so keep that in mind, northern Baja ejects into the deserts on Wednesday and Wednesday evening. And that's followed by another system on Thursday that comes down directly from the north. So we get hit from both directions, and that keeps it unsettled over Southern California on Wednesday and Thursday. You can see we also expect significant snowfall, especially in San Diego County in our mountains, with that storm on Wednesday and then on Thursday across the San Bernardino Mountains again. Snow levels not quite as low, but still low to cause impact to travel and even below our mountain communities. The next storm looks to be targeting us uh, sometime late in the weekend, Saturday night and Sunday with widespread precipitation and snow up in the uh, mountain town levels, at least above 5,000 feet. What are the highlights? Uh, we have moderate to high confidence with these solutions, especially since we know it's a cold system coming in. Widespread precipitation this evening along the cold front. It'll be heavy for a couple hours and the snow levels will drop quickly down to three to 4,000 feet. So that'll impact the Cajon Pass before the precipitation ends. We do see potential for brief heavy rain along the frontal band. Now, most of this will be out of here by very early Tuesday morning. The brief heavy rain could be as much as 0.2 to 0.3 per hour along that frontal bend. Now more precipitation expected on a Wednesday coming up from the south, moving across San Diego County and then moving out into the deserts. Some of that will spill into Riverside County. And then we see another system coming from the north on Thursday for more widespread showers, especially our northern areas such as the San Bernardino Mountains. So overall, we look for significant additional precipitation on Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, especially in our mountains, and then a uh, quarter to three quarters of an inch across San Diego County and spilling into our desert. Snowfall will be significant, uh, even in the San Diego mountains because of the storm on Wednesday, but overall all the mountain areas will see snowfall Wednesday and also again on Thursday. The next storm system looks for the weekend, uh, probably Saturday night, lasting through Sunday, perhaps even into Monday, coming down from the north. So the bottom line is widespread rain. It looks like our dry day is Tuesday 
And uh, for San Diego County, the wettest day is Thursday or Wednesday. And then for Orange County, the wettest day is uh, this evening into early Tuesday. So all this rainfall and the snowfall looks to bring possible impacts, especially with the snow uh, across the mountain pass area, such as I-8 and I-15. Stay tuned for weather.gov for the latest updates and follow closely for any watches, warnings, and advisories that continue. Thanks for tuning in.